Hey guys, welcome back to your favorite channel on YouTube. It's Vibes Plus, and I'm yours truly, ITL the Vital Idol, Captain It Real. Vibes Plus is a YouTube channel that's concerned with trending issues, social media rants, celebrity gossips, and a little bit of politics. Well, we're back, and you all know our culture. If this is your first time of hitting this channel, or you happen to stumble upon this channel, please do us a favor by hitting on subscribe and click on the notification bell icon so that you'll be notified anytime I drop a new video. And if you're already part of this big family, I'm so Super grateful you guys are giving me the firepower to keep pushing on please like this video and share it to your friends on all social media platforms so that we can reach out to more people yep what we're going to be discussing today is the biography and who aisha yusufu is okay let's go straight into it this is the full biography of the nigerian political activist aisha yusufu aisha yusufu is a Nigerian social and political activist who came to prominence for her role in speaking up for the abducted Chibok schoolgirls in 2014. Aisha Yusufu, the co-convener of the Bring Back Our Girls in bracket BBOG campaign that tirelessly held protests demanding for rescue of the 276 schoolgirls kidnapped by terrorists in Chibok. Okay, let's move straight to the full details of Aisha Yusufu. Full name. Aisha Yusufu, age 46, birthday December 1974, height 5.10 meters, alma mater, Bayaru University, Kano, state of origin, Edo State, state of residence, Kano State, Nigeria, marital status, married with two kids, a son and a daughter, tribe, Esako, career, activist, microbiologist, and a businesswoman. Let's take a dive and see Aisha Yusufu's childhood. Aisha Yusufu was born and raised in Kano State, Nigeria. Her parents were poor. Aisha described where she grew up as a ghetto. She said, in quote, Where I grew up in Kano State can be compared to a ghetto. In fact, some people call it the Ajegunle of Kano, where you have a lot of drug dealers street children, almajiris, and drug usage was very normal over there. If you're not into drugs in that area, you were seen as an odd person. Aisha Yusufu's Education Aisha Yusufu say she was determined to go to school despite how difficult it was for a girl child living in northern Nigeria to go to school. She said in code, by the time I was 11 years old, I did not have any female friends because all of them have been married off, but I wanted to be educated and leave the ghetto. Aisha Yusufu initially got admission into the Utman and Fodio University in 1992, but later left the school after a crisis and enrolled at Ahmadu Bello University, Zaria, to study medicine. Aisha Yusufu left Ahmadu Bello University again after the school was closed, following the murder of a professor in 1994. Aisha Yusufu finally completed her tertiary education at the Bayaro University, Kano, where she graduated with a degree in microbiology. Aisha Yusufu's work profile Aisha Yusufu is a businesswoman. She said she has never worked for anyone and don't intend to. She said, in quote, after my schooling, I went into business. I have never worked for anyone in my life and I never intend to. I have been doing business since the year 2000. I started my business after school and it became my main focus. Aisha Yusufu's marriage Aisha Yusufu got married in the year 1996 at the age of 24. While she was still in the university, Aisha Yusufu and her husband Aliu celebrated their 20 years wedding anniversary in the year 2018. Aisha Yusufu and her husband Aliu have two children together, an older son and a daughter. Aisha Yusufu's youngest child was born on December 6, 2001, and she turned 19 in the year 2020. The Background of Aisha Yusufu's Activism
Aisha Yusufu said she has always been known for speaking out against any form of injustice since from a young age. In many of her interviews, Aisha Yusufu described how she participated in numbers of protests while in school. Aisha Yusufu said, For me, activism has been part of me all my life. I am somebody that stands up against injustice because I have a very big mouth. Aisha Yusufu's work on Bring Back Our Girls. Talking about her involvement in the Chibok Girls campaign, Aisha Yusufu says she saw herself speaking up for the kidnapped Chibok girls as an avenue to give back to our society. Aisha Yusufu said, in quote, I remember I was at the gym with a friend who told me that letter that day that she was going for a protest because of the abducted Chibok girls. I asked for the color they were wearing and she said red. Since I did not have a red hijab, I decided to buy one that day. I called my husband to inform him of my decision and he supported me. That was how it started. When the Chibok girls incident happened, I was already set to give back to my society and I saw that as an avenue. Well, here are other interesting facts to know about Aisha Yusufu. Though Aisha Yusufu was born and raised in the northern Nigeria, she is not from the north. Aisha Yusufu is actually from Edo State, and so is her husband. Aisha Yusufu has also revealed that she is not a big fan of house chores. <laughs> a lot of people say that Aisha Yusufu is the woman that has the heart of 10 men. Now, this is the recent update on the activism Aisha Yusufu is part of. Aisha Yusufu is at the forefront of the NSAS movement, which has drawn the attention to the excesses of a controversial police unit in the Nigerian police force called Special Anti-Robbery Squad, SAS. Aisha Yusufu has said she will not leave the fight against NSAS protests in Nigeria for her children. This is basically why Aisha Yusufu is trending now, because she's championing the NSAS movement. And now the whole of Nigerians are asking questions. Who is Aisha Yusufu? Because this woman is very bold. She is very strong, very bold, and she's outspoken. This is Vibes Plus, and I'm yours truly, ITL The Vital Idol, keeping it real. Before you go, if you're new here, please kindly smash on that subscribe button and click on the bell icon so that you'll be notified anytime I drop a new video. And don't forget to like and share this video to all social media platforms so that all your friends will enjoy this awesome content. Do have a lovely day. Peace.